So I'm going to give you all some real good examples of how I leverage my short term rental relationships. So we'll start with boats. Right now, I'm, I'm in Miami. Of course, I don't own a boat, but I may, some, I may know somebody on social media who's looking for a boat to come to Miami this weekend. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the marina. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to talk to people and say, hey, do you charter your boat? Do you rent your boat? How much did your boat cost an hour? What are the, is there a deposit? Is there requirements? There's do's and don'ts. I'm going to ask them all of those questions. After I ask them those questions, I'm going to type it up or I'm going to put it in my notes and I'm going to send it to the client. So therefore they understand exactly what the rules, the, the rules and responsibilities are and the pricing for this opportunity. So now I just leveraged two random relationships and made it work for me. Another example, when it comes to properties, no, I don't own a million dollar mansion. No, my home don't have a pool in the back. But guess what I did? I started reaching out to people as simple as driving around to nice neighborhoods and putting um, flyers on their door and asking them, do they want to make money from their, pro from, from their property? Or you can reach out on other platforms like Airbnb, book something, and then get in contact with the owner and say, listen, I have multiple clients who's looking for an opportunity to rent uh, a property like yours for production or events. Are you interested in renting it? They'll say yes, or they'll say maybe, then you gotta teach them, okay, the things that they gotta use at their home in order to protect their home, like having a certificate of insurance, or having a deposit, or having security, or making sure that their pool is retrofitted to have multiple people in there at one time, right? Teaching them these things and then getting a price for that home and then going back to your client and say, look, I found a home, this is the opportunity for you to rent it, it's in this area, it costs this amount of money per day, would you like it? Another example, right? Another example would be flying private. I have clients all the time who loves flying private just to shoot production and things like that, just like this, what I'm doing right now. So, okay, you wanna fly private, you wanna go from Atlanta to Miami, okay, the jet is gonna cost you, you know, hypothetically, $2,000 a seat is eight seats on there. That's 16,000. That's how much it may cost you. Now you just charge them 20,000 to charter that jet for them to go and shoot that production. But now because they're shooting a production, they're going to need it. They're going to need a car probably to the airport. Or when we land in Miami, they're going to need a vehicle. They're going to want somewhere to stay. They're going to want to go out. So you have the ability to compound all these different situations that a client need in order to make it all happen for them at one time. So I'm going to teach you multiple tools, tips, and tricks on how to build, cultivate, manage, and take these relationships to the next level, whether it be for a private client or be for an owner who, who owns these assets and you're teaching them. So if you're interested and you're learning how I'm doing this all around the world and you wanna take on the opportunity and learn how to do it for yourself or pass, pass the information on to somebody else, this is the opportunity for you.